Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear loved one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to everyone who's celebrating their birthday this week. May you have a special day and enjoy that special day. Happy birthday. to be well here on club kiboko we interact with different careers to see what our dream career looks like come along <laughs> Most of us like cartoons. Well, today we'll be visiting a cartoonist who draws our favorite things to watch and read. Let's see him. Hello Harris the cartoonist. Hello Zawadi, the presenter. Likewise, yeah. So I, I hear you draw cartoons on newspapers. Yes. Yes, that's our favorite thing, us as children. Okay. So I've come here so that my friends here at home mm -hmm. can understand more about cartoons. Okay. Yeah. So how is it like drawing cartoons? First of all, please define it for us what cartoons are. Oh, first, drawing cartoons is fun. But although it is a lot of work, but you know, it's worth it. So cartoons are um, satirical pieces that are made purposely for entertainment, all right? So to make a cartoon, definitely you'll have to have pencils. And when I get this pencil like this, I have to have an idea in my mind of what I want to draw, and I will sketch it out and then I'll ink it, I'll color it, and then I'll have it for you guys to enjoy. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, where are cartoons found? Like, yes, we can watch them, yes. but are they also in magazines? Well, cartoons are found everywhere, especially today with social media. You can get cartoons anywhere, all right? You'll find them in newspapers, definitely. You'll find them in, in magazines. You'll find them on TV. On TV. Okay, so it's all about uh, how the content creator wants to market and have his or her cartoons available for everyone else. Are you hearing that, guys? So, what's a, okay, you've already mentioned the materials that you need. Yes. So, is it fun as an adult? Actually, it's quite confusing for me as an adult. An adult drawing cartoons, yeah. it's very rare for adults to like cartoons. So, do you enjoy? Okay. Like okay. That's a good question. Well, all cartoons are made by adults because it it takes a lot to create an understanding, the experience, and also in a way you have to have you have developed your creativity to a level where you can be able to communicate. All right? That takes a, a lot of time. For me, I've been drawing for 20 years so far. Where were you? Oh, yeah. that's when I was <laughs> doing Yeah. Okay, so yeah. speaking of when you started drawing cartoons, uh, when and where did you start? Yes, you started, you've been drawing for about 20 years, yes. right? So where did you start, like at the standard media? Did you start on TV? Like now you started sketching a little bit for okay. newspaper companies. Okay. Well, um, I started um, when I was in school. Definitely, once I learned uh, what cartoons were because I really got interested. I love, I've always loved cartoons, okay? And I was in nursery school. I remember I was, I, um, our teacher asked us to draw anything that we wanted to. And I drew my grandfather's pickup. And once I drew it and I saw, wow, I can actually do this. I wanted to do more of that. So I was doing it with the encouragement of my parents. I was able to develop it over time. 
all right so i've been growing i've been consistent at it and uh, it doesn't matter whether there were good days or bad days i would always draw because for me cartoon drawing cartoons is a form of self-expression oh, okay. yeah so what do you draw about in the cartoons do you just draw it for like entertainment or do you draw it entertainment yes as well as learning some things to learn okay well um the reason why i draw cartoons is first because i enjoy it and uh secondly it's because um I have stories in me that I would like to share with guys like you, all right? And it gives me joy to say that you've enjoyed something that I've created, all right? So what motivates me the most is the fact that, as a, as with course I consider it as entertainment, that you feel entertained, that you find yourself entertained by whatever it is that I want to create or I, that I'm creating. Yeah. yeah. So please take us through the process of making cartoons. All right. I mentioned a pencil. You've got to have a pencil. But definitely, as you pick a pencil and have a, a paper, plain paper, definitely, you have to have an idea. All right. What do I want to draw? What would you, what would you like us to draw? Okay. Maybe I'll copyright on my mom. <laughs> okay. We'll draw your mom. But for, for now, what you're going to do, you're going to draw one of my characters, cartoon characters that I've created. Okay, okay? I hope your mom will see herself in the cartoon <laughs> character. All right? Okay. So, definitely you sketch. All right? Mm -hmm. That's her head. She's very simple to, to create anyway. Her name is Chi Chi. All right? And Chi Chi, hmm. Chichi is younger than you are, I think. Mm -hmm. She should be about seven years. There. Alright, see that? Yeah, that's her hair. That's her hair. Alright. See that? Mm -hmm. There. And then do that. Hmm, she should be smiling or um, sad or smiling. smiling, right? Of course. Cartoons are all about fun. So you do that, all right? Because she went to the dentist and uh, had her front teeth plucked out, we're going to have the side teeth right there. And then you're going to have that gaping hole right there. And that is Chichi for you. Oh, she has to be looking at you. I think she likes you already. Bah. So I'll do that. That's uh, that's a sketch. Yes. All right. I forgot to add the ears here and her earrings. Then after I draw, Chichi, that is what I call a sketch. I will now ink Chichi using an ink pen. All right. So this is like your tracing. I am. I'm, I'm, I, what I'm doing here is. Um, I am bringing it out more because as you can see with the pencil, it's a little bit faint. But now what we want to do, we want to make it more pronounced in how it looks. So I'm going to go all over the artwork. All right, see that? I don't have to necessarily just go uh, as uh, follow the pencil marks because I, I understand. Okay, right there, see that? There, and then her hair. Oh, so it's not a must to go with what you just did. Well, what the, with the sketch, what the, the pencil marks are to guide me oh. on how to flow. Because once you use ink pen, you can't rub ink, ink okay? So it will help me do that. Then afterwards, I will rub the pencil marks that have guided me, okay? Just to make the artwork more cleaner. All right? So. There, and then there. Oh, now you see she's coming to life, yes. isn't she? She's more pronounced, isn't she? Yes. There you go. Hmm. There. See, I've added something. It has right dimples. There. Oh yeah. <laughs> cheeks. Those we call cheeks. The dimples are right here. Make sure that the smile is good for camera. <laughs> As you can see, 
All right? Okay. There you go. See what I've done? Yeah. I've inked it. So what you're going to do next is just make sure that um, the areas that need shading, the areas that I'm shading are going to have black. So this is all going to be black at some point, okay? Yeah. Definitely it will take a lot of time to color all this black, but anyway, I'll show you how it, the easier way to go about it, okay? So there. Then you rub off the pencil marks so that you can make it cleaner, okay? Would you like to assist me, Rab? Okay. Sure. So you have to hold this. You have to hold the paper. Okay. Proper. Okay. So it doesn't crease as you're rubbing. Okay. All right. Good. You're done. Oh, All right. So we have to definitely clean up the, the rub material, okay? There. I have my drone illustration. Right. Would you like it to have color? Yeah. Definitely, That's right? That's actually better because cartoons are all about character and color. Color, definitely. What's a cartoon without color? Although there are some black and white cartoons. Oh. Yeah, but you know, um, depends on how you play around with the color and with the black and white. Okay? So I have to color this, but for me to color this, I have to use this computer here. Okay? So for me to get it here, for me to get this hard copy, I call this the hard copy, to get it here, I have to scan it. Ever heard of a scanner? Yes, I have. Many okay. times. Many times? Yeah. Should we walk to one? Okay. Okay, let's go to my scanner. Here we go. Yeah, yeah let's go. Yeah, here, yeah, see? So, this is a scanner. Um, it's going to help us have this illustration as a soft copy so that I can color it using my computer, okay? So I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to place it. Or even better, I think there's a better way to scan because it has better ways of scanning. So I'll place it in here. There. I will enter my passcode. You can use that. Um, the next time you come to scan anything. <laughs> yeah. And then we are going. What does it say here? Scan. Scan. Press. Press me. And then press the blue button. Scanned. I know you wish it was money at the ATM, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are going to come back. We are going now to. Just make it a little bit uh, cleaner mm -hmm. and more pronounced. So we are, I'm using a software. I don't know if you've heard of Photoshop. Yeah. Oh, for, yeah, exactly. This is Photoshop, PS, this is Photoshop. So I use Photoshop mm -hmm. to clean up and color my illustrations, right? So what I'm doing right now, I am now doing um, a proper cleanup. This is, this is going to be very detailed. So I think the best way for me to do is to do it fast as you watch, right? Okay. There you go. Oh, a little bit of coloring for this. What? Her name is Chichi. You remember what I said? Mm -hmm. The cartoon character. So you're going to tell me what color I should put where. Okay. Yeah. So what color do you want? Do you want her face to be yellow? No? It look weird. So I think she can do it some brown, but not the dark. Some brown, brown right? Mm, yeah. She's happy. You see that? The reason why she's feeling is because you mm. are helping her with the coloring. So, up. Is that okay? A little bit too dark. Maybe the lighter. Probably. Lighter? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine? Yes. Okay. How about, let's do that to the mouth. And then, her eyelashes, no, those are, those eyebrows. are eyebrows, exactly, and then her eyebrows, and then her okay. hair, see, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you oh, go. Oh, she's so easy to color. Yeah, that's because I'm using, um, I'm using um, a software by the name of Illustrator. 
Illustrator helps. It has features that help you color easily. Okay, see that? There you go. And then we can have. Yeah, exactly. That's your color, right? Yeah. Not really my color. Like but black and white. Oh, okay. Okay, I always have her in that color. So Chichi has come to life. This is supposed to be black. Bang. It's supposed to be black or oh, blue, still blue. Uh, there you go. Okay. Okay, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Should we include her name? Okay. As a write up, just to finish it up nicely. Yeah. So, Chi Chi. Oh, man, let me see. That didn't come. Chi Chi. Uh huh. And then increase the size. There you go. There you go. So, uh, Harry, let me ask you. Do you also draw people sometimes? Like, okay, sit down there. Okay. You like draw them as you look at them. Well, I don't. Mm -hmm. But I have friends who do. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but. I, what, what, what I like doing a lot is cartoons. It's a difference between cartoons. What you're asking for is portraits. There are people who love, you know, I'd like, to, I'd like you to draw me as I am. So that is a speciality. It, it takes skill to also get to that level, all right? But I could draw a simple sketch. Not that I couldn't draw, but the proper nice illustration of a portrait it would be best for pa a person who specializes in that. Okay, so yeah. if we can't do like the portrait to look like someone exactly the way they are, do you like draw someone in a cartoon form? Yes, you can. exactly. Can I show you one that you just saw? Hmm, let's look at this one. <laughs> so please tell us the character. Hmm, maybe you should. Who do you think this is? This looks like the late President Mwai Kibaki. Alright. Okay, this one is hard to... This looks like, I think, Louis Kibaki. Okay, alright. You got it right. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm using this composition uh -huh. to tell a story. Because what I've done, I have um, the late President, of course, today is his burial. Alright, the day we are shooting. And, um... I want to pay a tribute to him, all right? And I'm going to have him walking into heaven and meeting Lucy. And Lucy is happy to welcome him. Finally. Yes, you're here. Welcome, all right? Welcome so home. this is what I do most. <laughs> exactly, welcome home, all right? I mean, even we all believe that they are happy wherever they are, right? Yeah. So, Zawadi, that's what I do. Wow. Oh, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure being interviewed by you, Zawadi. Mm. I hope you there at home has learned something new on drawing and a few tips here and there. Now, before we wrap it all up, Hello friends, and welcome to Weird and Wonderful Facts, your informative show where we bring you amazing and interesting facts about everyday things from all over the world. Let's begin today's countdown of Weird and Wonderful Facts. We begin today in the UK on a smelly note. Pigeons are probably one of the most common birds in cities around the world. In England, Pigeon poop is property of the crown. This is because pigeon poop could be used to make gunpowder. And because of this, King George I declared all pigeon poop to be property of the crown in the 18th century. 
So even if you have pigeons for pets in the UK, whenever they poop, the poop belongs to the state. Although recent findings show that pigeon poop has a contributing factor to several diseases in The Greenland shark is one of the largest living species of sharks. Greenland sharks grow to 6.4 meters, but that's not the amazing fact. Greenland sharks have the longest lifespan of all vertebrate animals. They can live up to 500 years. One Greenland shark was tagged off the coast of Greenland in 1936 and recaptured in 1952. Its measurements suggest that Greenland sharks grow at a rate of 0.5 to 1 centimeter per year. They don't even reach sexual maturity until they're roughly 150 years old. There are lots of statues of historical figures on horses all around the world today. Did you know that these statues of people on horseback tell a lot of stories? On the statues, a horse's legs tell you how the statue figure died. If a horse has both its front legs in the air, then the person died in battle. If the horse has one of its front legs in the air, they died of wounds received from a battle. And if the horse has both its front legs on the ground, then the person died of natural causes. So the next time you see a statue of a person on a horse, you will have a story to tell. Woodpeckers are a common sight all over the world and they are known for their characteristic behavior. They mostly forage for insect prey on the trunks and branches of trees and often communicate by drumming with their beak, producing a reverberatory sound that can be heard at some distance. A gory and interesting fact about these birds is that they eat brains when they get too hungry. No, not zombie woodpeckers, just normal woodpeckers. If they've gone too long without food, Woodpeckers will pin down other birds and peck at the back of their heads until they crack through their skull and then eat their brains. They are freaky little birds, my friends. Until we meet again with more weird and wonderful facts. Goodbye. Unfortunately, we have come to the end of the show. But thank you for watching Club Kiboko. I'm signing out from Two Rivers Mall. Bye, I've got to have some fun.